Well, my name is Elliot Gu, and I'm the editor of The Energy Strategist. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, natural gas market and also the market for liquefied natural gas, or LNG. Um, as most of you are well aware, uh, natural gas prices have been very depressed over the last year and a half or two years, uh, especially relative to oil. Uh, at the current prices, uh, natural gas actually trades on an energy equivalent basis at about half the price of crude oil, uh, which is pretty close to record low levels. Uh, one of the reasons, the main reason that natural gas prices remain depressed, even as oil prices have continued to rally, uh, is just excess supplies of gas in the U.S. market, uh, gas in storage, or gas in inventories. Uh, every, every week, uh, the Department of Energy releases a report uh, telling us exactly how much natural gas is in storage in the United States. Uh, what we've seen is that for most of the last year, if you look at a chart of it, you'll see that natural gas inventories have actually been way, way above average levels and actually at record levels uh, for on many occasions over the last year and a half. And actually, if you go to my blog, at theselevels.com, uh, you'll see that I have a chart of that up there uh, to illustrate that. Uh, so obviously, a high supply uh, relative to demand uh, causes the price to remain uh, depressed. And it's kept, it pretty much capped every rally uh, at about $9 per million BTUs. Uh, and we have, we've seen natural gas trade basically between $7 and $9 per million BTUs. Um, there are a couple reasons why inventories have remained bloated in the U.S. Uh, one is, of course, the very warm winter uh, we saw in 2005-2006. This was really close to a record warm winter in the United States. And uh, high temperatures during the winter months mean less demand for natural gas heating uh, and less demand for gas overall. Uh, and so inventory sort of built up over that winter at unusually high levels. And we really are still suffering from a hangover from that period. Uh, last year, we also saw a very interesting spike in liquefied natural gas or LNG imports into the U.S. market in the spring. Now, most of you are familiar with LNG, but what it is is nothing more than gas that's been super cooled, uh, so it actually liquefies and can be loaded onto a tanker ship, just like crude oil. Uh, the thing with the natural gas market is traditionally it's been primarily a pipeline market. In other words, the United States is a very se separate and distinct market from Europe, uh, and prices between those two markets could be very, very different uh, because there is no way to move gas really efficiently from Europe to the United States. There was no pipeline connecting those two markets. Therefore, prices could differ. Unlike crude oil, uh, where crude can be loaded onto a tanker and moved anywhere in the world. Uh, what LNG does is it separates us, it frees us from uh, those pipeline networks and allows you to take gas from, for example, Australia to the United States or uh, really anywhere in the world into any market in the world. Uh, the advantage of that, of course, is that uh, producers who have LN access to LNG capacity can actually send uh, natural gas to the markets where the prices are highest. Uh, what we saw last spring is that natural gas prices in the United States were about 2.25 times the price of gas in Europe. Uh, so what we saw is that a lot of LNG producers uh, were shipping gas to the U.S. market to take advantage of the higher prices available here uh, relative to Europe. The effect of that, of course, was to pump even more gas into the U.S. market where inventories were already bloated, uh, and that again helped to keep inventories well above average last year. But here's the current situation. Uh, as we speak right now, natural gas prices uh, traded on the International Petroleum Exchange in London are around 50 pence, 50 British pence per therm. Therm is about uh, 100,000 British thermal units, so if we do that on an equivalent basis, the current price of natural gas uh, in Europe is about $10 per million BTUs, relative to something closer to 8 here in the United States. Uh, so obviously there's no advantage whatsoever to shipping LNG into the U.S. market, and we've actually seen LNG imports uh, really tumble uh, over the last several months, uh, and that is actually helping to tighten up again uh, the U.S. natural gas market, because most of the LNG exports are actually going into Europe instead. And I think we're going to continue to see that develop over the next several months, uh, and that's likely to be a, a somewhat of a positive for the U.S. natural gas market. And in fact, this is one area that I'm looking at very seriously over the next several months as, as, as a way to play, uh, rather than looking at crude oil. I, I do believe we could see a, a, a finally a turn in natural gas prices. Thank you very much.